check. Check. Is this thing on? Okay. That's what they used to do. Hola, espectadora que está en mi teléfono. Soy Cocos. I'm bored, so I thought I'd make a video today. Today, I am looking at a clip that went viral by Will Ferrell. 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 You know what I mean. Will Ferrell. We're gonna see if it's as bad as everyone's making it out to be, or people just being dramatic. Maybe there's some content text they left out. Hmm. Prior to getting started, I am a big Will Ferrell fan. Daddy's Home was hilarious. What? Uh, Holmes and Watson was way too funny. Oh man, there's so many good ones. I know what you're thinking. Another heterosexual, Caucasian, man of the species chiming in with his two cents. And you be correct. Welcome to my show. Cockles and his two cents. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to my channel. Let's check it out. How's everyone doing today? Good morning. I'm great, Willie. Thank you. Uh, Wait a moment. Women in entertainment. What are you doing here, Will? Of course, we got a man stepping on women, making himself the center point of a woman's ceremony. Leave him be, Will. Here, let me fix that for you. There you go, Will. Now you can speak. Welcome, everyone, to the Hollywood Reporter 2023 Women in Entertainment Breakfast. Woo! Woo! This is uh, such a wonderful event where we honor and support and continue to fight for women in all facets of the entertainment world. Um, but... You know what? Forget about the entertainment world. Isn't it, isn't it just time? Isn't it just time for women to run the planet? I, I mean... Isn't it time for women to run the planet? I don't know about that, Will. Starting off strong, William. Damn. I thought... Women run everything. Anyways. You guys seen those clips? You know, powerful women, like... We've always... Run everything. Everything since the beginning of time. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So if that's the case, no, Williamson. I will... I ain't taking credit for the shit show lately, all right? Don't throw the ball at us when you went and up the court. At least certainly, what, the last, like, decade? Women and minorities have been pushed forward to the front. Everything is that. Man, it sucks now. But we all know whose fault that is. The white guilt, white's faults. I'm, I'm, I'm not just trying to placate you, I swear. Funny man talking serious right now, I swear. Yeah. But... I don't know what else to do because we, men, uh, we've been running the show since what, 10,000 BC? Something like that? Wait up, Wilbert. Okay, let's. I want a factual speech here. How long have men been running the show? Let's see. Perfect. First one, the man show. Ah, what's this? William, you lied to these women. We haven't been around the show since 10,000 BC. Come on, you goober, Mr. Farrell. Look, Wilcox, don't worry, okay? The amount that women work for compared to men was like 80% to a man's dollar, apparently. When my boss finds out, I'm in big trouble. I'm out of a job. The rest of men are too, all right? So, don't worry, it's coming to it. And we're not doing so good. So, <laughs> please, can you guys just take over? Can you? Why, Willem? So that men can get a free ride on hard-working women's backs. Huh? You're sick, Bill. You're really sick. Oh, you're making me sick right now. He's acting like the stereotype of men, am I right? You know that guy that walks around with all the gals? <sighs> men, they're a good time, aren't they? Yeah, he's doing that right now. Maybe... I think it's time. Sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. Um... Where was I? Yes, I was, I was very ex excited to speak uh, this morning for many reasons. Uh, one of which is that today I get to sit next to one of my dear friends who has been an integral part of my life, both personally and professionally for over 20 years. Uh, she started out as my very first assistant and later, uh, she pitched me the idea of a production company that would focus on female storytelling. You know, now that I think about it, 
He's surrounded, so he might be just trying to pander and make it out alive. If he didn't pander, the amount of articles... There's probably like 50 uh, journalists at this event. So the amount of articles of him not pandering would probably ruin his image, poor dude. All right, let's see what we got. While supporting women writers, directors, and actors, to which I said, yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> yeah, we could do that. I don't know. Yeah. That's like all of Hollywood now. Female stories? Just brought that up earlier. The future is female. We all know that now. Alright? Hop on board, guys. Some of y'all might not know this while they're shoving the shit down our throats in films and cinema. But yeah, we just gotta get used to it, guys. Alright, let's go. Um, thus was born Gloria Sanchez Productions. And that person <laughs> is Jessica Elbaum. Je if he's genuine, like he wants to raise women, that's great. But why not just promote her? So he's like, I'll just make her a whole new damn business. She ain't running my business into the ground. All right, let's look up. What do you say, Gloria Sanchez? Let's go back. Okay, yeah. Gloria Sanchez Productions. Let's check it out. What is Gloria Sanchez Productions? Here we go. <clears throat> Hollywood told her women aren't funny. She proved them wrong. <laughs> well, I mean... I'm just kidding. Women are funny. Super funny. Way too funny. Comedy. All right, let's see. All right, there's got to be some killer movies in this then. Let's see. Gloria Sanchez Productions. Oh, I know that emblem. I got you. There's some funny movies here. Okay. Yeah, like, um, I think I've seen her on Get Hard. List of movies. Let's see what you got. Okay, turns out I did a deep dive. Apparently, I wasn't paying attention. There's Gary Sanchez Productions and Gloria Sanchez. Yeah, that new company. Okay. So, the emblem that I recognized, that I thought was just Gloria Sanchez. It's also Gary Sanchez's production company. They just switched the name. Very, very clever of these guys. A little lazy, a little trickery there. Come on. But I also noticed they don't show the budget for Gloria Sanchez. They just show the gross. So... We'll just have to look those up on a different website. Got some nice titles here. Okay. <laughs> the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window right next to the old man sleeping next to the apartment complex a couple blocks from the shrink next door. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. I haven't seen... Okay, I haven't seen none of these movies. Or shows. Might check it out. They might be good. I don't know. We'll see. I've seen the Gary Sanchez movies though. Those are funny. But I don't think I'm the target audience for Gloria Sanchez Productions. I think it's a great idea, by the way. Like, you know, the all woman told stories. Where I get off is when they're like, hey, no one's coming to see our films. But it's all like, well, you made films excluding all these people. And then now you're upset. You only get so many people to come and watch it. So... I don't, you can't, you can't have it both ways, you know. If it's strictly for these people, expect just those people to come watch it. Jess, where are, you're out here somewhere. Yes. Yes. And here's your picture. Right here. He didn't even bring her up. He's like, I, I can't share the podium with you, all right. I'm just, could you print me off a picture, please, and I'll hold that up. Come on, Wilkis. <sighs> don't even bring Jessica up. It's insulting. Power 100, baby. Right there. There's Jess. Hi, Jess. My children have barfed on her shoulders. Uh, she's, but can I just brag? So since we started the company, Jess has had a hand in developing, finding, producing the following slate. Sorry, this is a little uh, personal time here. Uh, bachelorette. Sleeping with other people, dead to me, book smart, wow. hustlers, Eurovision, Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar, theater camp, quiz lady, and May December currently on Netflix. So, wow. Um, wow. I'm, I'm so proud of you sister friend and uh 
It's been all you. I've literally done nothing. So, uh, I've literally done nothing but sit up in this podium. Dude, let her run your company, man. Come on. This is about women here, all right? He just wants to take all the credit. He doesn't want to do anything. Like, I mean, granted, he did help her start a company. That's pretty cool. So, respect there, all right? That, that's a big deal, but I don't know. Um, let's please give a hand for the amazing Carrie Washington. Carrie? <laughs> you will be receiving the... Ex is he going to get any of these women on stage with him? How many times do we have to have all these men speaking at women's events? It's got to be countless at this point. Come on, man. Woody and Entertainment Award in recognition of your work amplifying the voices of underrepresented communities in the entertainment industry and beyond. Beyond. That means like the space station. Like that's how powerful her reach is. Um, that was. Mm. That was a joke. Wait up, Gator. I got you, man. Add a laugh track. That joke demands a laugh track. Let's try this. See how it sounds. You know what? His jokes would kill here. I, I see why they picked him. Yeah, his jokes would kill it with this audience. Let's see. Let's add a laugh track. See what that sounds like. Let's see, we'll go to 340 and... Space Station. Like, that's how powerful her reach is. Um, Carrie, you've always been amazing. Much better. Okay, so here we go. 350 and... Let's go. Carrie, you've always been amazing in everything you've ever done and uh, an incredible advocate for so many different things. So can you just run for president, please? Can you just... We'll pay you. We'll pay you. <laughs> this reminds me of Modern Family when uh, Phil's at the salon with all those ladies. I'll try to find the clip. <laughs> Where he's like getting tested. Yes, yes. And, and if she says, uh, uh, the waiter I had today was so rude, I shouldn't say, maybe you should just order something on the menu for once. Oh. I should just say, what a jerk. Yes. <laughs> you you would have had to have been there. It's funny. Oh my gosh. You. We'll pay you 20% less than what a normal president would make while you do a thousand percent more because you're a woman. Guarantee. Guarantee. We'll pay you. Let's see. We'll do a GoFundMe right in this room and that'll launch you. We'll do a GoFundMe. What are you talking about, Willis? Uh, Adele is here. And we'll be receiving the Sherry Lansing Leadership Award, which recognizes trailblazers and philanthropists. Adele and I have also worked together. Um, you probably don't remember me, but I sang back up on Rolling in the Deep. <laughs> You're gonna wish me, never had met me. Tears are gonna fall, rolling in the deep. You're gonna wish you, never had met me. Now do you remember me? Okay, you had me fired, um, and now you're probably feeling pretty stupid. Uh, so enjoy your award, Adele. Um, All right, that's pretty funny. All right, give him that. That got me. You tickled my funny bone. Williamson. All right. Let's see. I also want to take time to acknowledge the Hollywood Reporter Mentorship Program in partnership with Big Brothers and Big Sisters, which uh, was founded 13 years ago. This program pairs high school girls from underserved communities in LA with female mentors who are top executives in the entertainment business. Every female studio and agency head has been a mentor in this program. Over $15 million in scholarships have been given out to graduates of this program. Uh, the young women have gone on to attend colleges at places like Harvard, Berkeley, and Northwestern, but not Oxford or Cambridge because of Adele's unjust firing of Will Ferrell off of Rolling in the Deep. And I didn't, that was written for me. That's just part of the program. Um, so uh, with that little tidbit, I would again, uh, like I say, congrats to everyone in this room. Enjoy the rest of the program. All right. That's that. Okay. Well. Most of that Hollywood shit was boring. I see why everyone just clipped the 14 seconds. I think he could have gave his six minutes of podium to maybe a woman that wasn't there. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Just saying. Or, uh, what was her name? Linda? L Mrs. Oh, gosh. Gloria? Is that her name? Oh, Jessica. He could have gave it to Jessica. Gave the six minutes to her. Ah, whatever. By the way. 
Congratulations to me. You're all winners in my book, okay? Woo! Time to check the comments. Let's see if Wilson is in trouble. This is the funniest thing Will Ferrell has ever said. Today we remember a comedian that used to make us laugh. Now with his departure, we will solely miss your sense of humor. Rest easy, John William Farrell. You will surely be missed by all the fans. Will blink twice. <laughs> will blink twice, then wink if you need help. We are here for you. See, yeah, exactly. He could have been like, he's surrounded by a bunch of women. He's just trying to make it out alive. Remember when Ron Burgundy told Veronica Cummingstone, you're just a woman with a small brain. Will went from that to this. What an amazing acting range she has. Society has been a matriarchy for five minutes and everything is coming undone. Right? Like, again, like, everything is revolved around women or minorities now. It's crazy. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just all like, don't be upset if no one wants to, like, or no one can enjoy it. It's just shoved down your throat. Make good stories. That's it. That's it. Cringe, did the elite Holly Weirds invite Dylan Mulvaney and give she. him a woman's award also? That's a good point. I'm surprised he wasn't there. Oh, woman in entertainment. Isn't that offensive? Now I'm perplexed. Uh oh. What dirt do you psychos have on Will? I'm sure it isn't that bad. <laughs> what is a woman? <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. All right, guys, just check out the comments. They're hilarious. Holy crap. Thank you guys for joining me on the internet. Another fun video. Boy, the internet does not fail. Maybe I entertained you. If so, happy to hear. Till next time, take care.